Welcome, Burgers. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful like, shares, and support. This is the business um, reading for this period. Okay, whenever you pick it up, ladies and gentlemen, is the time you should pick it up. All right, Burgers, you have a major arcana, so we're going to be um, first looking at the major arcana. As you come in this month, you have a real powerful major arcana, and this is the energy of number nine. Um, it is linked with uh, you, um, Virgo. So, Virgos, this is going to be um, introspect, um, a time and space. You know, you're going to be studying and analyzing something. I know you, Virgos, because I love you, Virgos, because you always study and analyze things, especially this is going to be affecting young Virgos between the ages of 18 and 45. All right, let's see what numbers is coming up for you guys. You have nine you have eight, you have five, nine, eight, and five, nine, eight, and five. You have a new start where um, a lot of you Virgo women in business, I see as some sort of a, a contract is going to be ended for you Virgo women, but it's okay um, because I see that uh, um, people in power or your bosses uh, are going to be recognizing the wonderful work that you have done. So, um, you know, this is absolutely powerful. Um, the energy of the hermit is about you going within and analyzing, studying and analyzing some sort of a details, some um, business, business contract. You Virgos ladies are looking so beautiful, sitting pretty, um, really analyzing and looking at some sort of a way analyzing some sort of a contract. So um, Virgo ladies who analyze contract and that sort of a thing, I see whatever that was happening and transpiring, some of you might be ending a whole lot of contracts and you're going to be re, um, um, uh, re-evaluate. You're going to be re-evaluating a whole lot of contracts. So Venus, you sit good. Um, some of you could be dealing with a... Because um, the Hermit is the energy of uh, the Pisces and you, Venus. You shed light on things. Um, so that is good. So um, is it Pisces, uh, Pisces and Scorpion? Um, that is the thing. Pisces and Scorpion have so much um, connection here. So what is going to be transpiring is that a lot of you are going to be analyzing some sort of a documentation, work process, agreements, and that sort of a thing. It is going to be good. A lot of people are not going to be on your team. But once your boss is supporting you um, or some sort of a legal person is supporting you, you will be okay. So a lot of people contract is going to be analyzed. And I see that some of you Virgos are going to be having this um, to do. It is going to be on your table in order to analyze a whole lot of contract and make some sort of a new decision. Alrighty, so Virgo ladies, you're standing strong, you're sitting good, you're sitting pretty. You are going to be changing a whole lot of contract for a whole lot of people ending contract changing, rules and regulation creating, analyzing, studying and creating new processes. A lot of people are not going to be on your team, but it's okay. You go to work, you don't need people to be, um, you know, um, have uh, to have some sort of a thing there. You are doing what is best. I see once your bosses are happy with you for the rest, let it go. So I see um um water of hurt. Ooh, water of hurt. That's kind of strange. Water of hurt. You Virgos are water of hurt, and this water of hurt energy has to do with emotions because you're a woman, and this is why they give you the energy of water of hurt. But Virgos, you are a you know. You, you you have empathy and you're pleasant and you're generous and loyal, but you create balance, okay? You have the situation as uh, um, the stability. You bring back stability in things that is going out of ray, okay? And then we see in the second week, the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups is always about Venus in Cancer. This is about contracts in business, and a lot of you um, are going to be um, rebooting contract, changing contract, changing things in contract and that sort of a thing. 
uh, a lot of people are not going to be wanting that because a lot of people is as if they were not, um, you know, going to rules and regulation. And it's as if some of you recognize, hey, people are breaking the rules of regulation. People are paying less tax. People are doing this. And then I recognize that they're going to be, um, um, you are going to be bringing back this online. Okay. So it's as if uh, a lot of people, especially uh, um, a lot of you are going to be dealing with some sort of an issue where people are not agreeing that you um, alert uh, and let people know that, they, you know, these uh, situation that was going on. But I see in the third week, uh, you are having uh, a female energy where you're, you're showing up. Okay. You're showing up and you're bringing back integrity and harmony in a, uh, in a, a corporation institution. And this is it because that was why you were studying and rationalizing, um, a situation because what is happening now is that you're bringing back integrity and harmony in a corporation that was lost. Okay. So it was a situation where a lot of people have forgotten why they have taken a profession on and why they have used and taken a pressure, um, um, you know, study for something. Um, a career, why they went through a, some sort of a career, why they study for a career and you're recognizing now what is happening. In the third week, the third week is going to be good because uh, it's about integrity and harmony that you're bringing back and you're showing up for yourself and understanding that the people forget why they have uh, uh, studied for a career, okay? And this is um, good. The fourth week you're dealing with um, fire of water. Now, fire of water is uh, fire is like a boss, okay? Um, but this person um, is really, um, really passionate and is a brilliant thinker, okay? This person is rational and judgmental. So what is transpiring is that some of you are dealing with a boss. And this person is really rational. He has a rational judgment uh, and an idealism, uh, a brilliant thinker. And this person is, uh, um, you know, it could be a lawyer or uh, some sort of a noted. But this person is really saying, hey, you have done very good work. So this is coming up as a boss. So in the last week, uh, the last week, a boss is going to be saying, hey, you have done great work. You have done wonderful work. I, you know, in all my years, in all my life, you are someone that, uh, you know, really go use the process or use uh, the regulations uh, or you have the expertise uh, and the skill that you bring back uh, within my company and my corporation. Thank you. So it doesn't really matter what corporation you're working in, what companies you're working in, where it is, they're going to be recognizing that you are the one that bring back rules and regulation to a corporation situation and showed up that certain process was not flowing and things was broken and you have um, regained this. Now, for a lot of you young people, and in order to know whether it is... Uh, a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn, because you young people between the age of 18 and 45, I see you at the end of the month uh, could be struggling and looking for some sort of a help, some sort of a um, problem, some sort of a situation that was transpiring. You're recognizing what was happening and it's as if a lot of you young people are going to be thinking about finding a new job, finding a new association, um, or it's going to be taking people on because this is like offering people a salary, taking people on. So a lot of you young people who are, um, 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 you know, uh, business uh, entrepreneur is going to be looking for people to be on your team. And this is going to be God. Then we are recognizing the Eight of Cups and the Eight of Cups energies. Uh, when the Eight of Cups energies come in, it's an end. Okay, this is Saturn. Eight of Cups is Saturn in Pisces. Saturn in Pisces. And um, this energy of Saturn in Pisces is that uh, you're recognizing that you have done and, you know, people with limits and setting boundaries. So 
you are done with a situation you have set boundaries you have created balance in and set a whole lot of boundaries and now people are recognizing this and it's really showing up because it's as if you ladies recognize hey i see that things are off and is in balance and i gather um you know i have the expert in order to um you know um rationally look at this and create a better process or a better flow and i see you have done that and i see you know the saturn in pisces is that and this is why i say um saturn in pisces is as if uh, you are bringing back the the order in the chaos okay you're bringing back the order in the chaos and this is going to be god then we see an ending is here for a cancer and a scorpion an ending is here for a cancer and a scorpion um they're recognizing that a cancer and a scorpion has created a whole lot of issues disappointed an end and disappointment is here um for a cancer and a scorpion and uh, some sort of a disappointment is going to be coming up uh, where you ladies are like you know it's fine whatever um you know life moves on and whatever this is um whatever is happening and transpiring is as if some of you ladies are recognize that i have to do what i have to do and you ladies are not you're, you're you're working from a rational sense and not from the female sense you ladies recognize hey i gotta do what i gotta do fine if this is not working um you know success on your way but i gotta do what i gotta do and i see people are going to be recognizing this um where and you know some something is ending some sort of a emotional connection to um your workers or colleague but you're bringing back a rational thinking on the work floor and i see a lot of people um could be walking away because they don't want to um uh, you know whatever you're doing they don't want to be a part fine because you Virgos are like yeah fine um you know i was uh, i know what i was meant to be this is what i'm going to be doing you know um you don't want to be here Ooh. You don't want to be here, whatever is transpiring. Okay, fine. Um, you know, it is what it is, but guess what? I, I know what I am here to do and I know my skills and knowledge and this is what I'm going to be doing. So I see that this is going to be absolutely, um, a month where a lot of you are going to be recognizing, Hey, um, there are people and situation that I have to make sure that I balance out. Okay. And in order to balance out the situation, people are not going to be liking you. Um, you know, people are going to be, but it's okay. But I'm getting to the bottom of it and you're going to be balancing out whatever is transpiring. So I see, um, you know, it is a time where I see a lot of bosses is going to be really liking you and care about you because they're going to be recognizing that you Virgos, have the skills and knowledge that they're looking for. And, you know, they're giving you the chance to put it to good use. And they're going to be very grateful for what has happened and transpired. They're going to be extremely grateful and is going to be recognizing um, that, you know, the potential, what you have, they need it. And they're going to be using you to create this balance for other people who have been you know, struggling basically. So Virgos, it is going to be a good month. <laughs> I don't know. Go back and look at your sister sign, the Tauruses. Um, it's good to go check out your sister signs because sometimes they end up helping you, Virgos. Um, remember that this is business and when it comes down to business, you earth signs are the one that rule the sense of business. Okay, anything to do with business, creating business, creating procedure, creating um, um, laws, rules, and regulation. You earth signs are the one who is always, uh, um, you know, that's your characteristic. That is what you were born with in your hands. And that's why a lot of you, Virgos, you have a problem with people ruling over you because you're really um mercury uh 
Mercury with hurt. So Mercury with hurt is that you are in balance, but your communication skills is good. So that's why you can recognize when there are a, a situation that is not um, processes that is broken, processes that is not working anymore, um, procedures that is broken, procedures that is not working anymore. You Virgos can always fix this. Okay. I got to go, Virgos, but sure your loves by a uh, thumbs up uh, and I am going to be moving forward. If you'd like to come on the other side, you are welcome. Otherwise, I will see you in the mid-month, by-month reading.